In this video, we will learn how can we create multiple modules in Angular application and how can we use child components in multiple modules. Before creating multiple modules in our application, let's understand how many modules that we need in this bookstore application. In this bookstore application, we will have multiple features. Based on those features, we will have multiple modules. We will also use security. Security means login, sign up, change password and all those things. Then we may have different layout uh, because we will have admin feature, user and public features in this application. Based on these scenarios, we will have different layout. To work on the design, we will use bootstrap and angular material. It is not mandatory to use both of them. You can design your entire application only by using Bootstrap or Angular material. Here, some of you uh, will work with Bootstrap and some of you like Angular material. So we will install and use both of them. Along with this, we will learn how to work with pop-up and model. In this application, we will use Angular material model and there are so many angular concepts like form, directive, service, pipe, routing and etc. Along with this, we will cover so many things in this application. This is a basic structure of this application. In this application, I want to have public sections. There, we will have home page, all books and one more page for book details. Then, I want to add the feature for users. Logged users can add book, also edit their own book. Then, I want to have admin section. Uh, here, we can see how many users are there in this application and we can have so many other features. Uh, other than this, we will use authentication in this application. Here, we will use sign up, login, change password, forget password, email verification and so many other things are there based on these features we can create multiple modules in our application now go to vs code editor uh, we have created this bookstore application in our previous video here we have only basic skeleton inside this app folder we have app.component and app.module file now let's open the terminal window here we have to write few commands uh, by using anglo cli uh, just like we have created new component in our previous video in the same manner we can create new modules for all the public pages of this bookstore application i will create a new module with the name public so type this command ng g for generate and I'm using the shortcut M for module. Then name of the module. Module name is public. Then press enter. It will create a new module in this application. See here inside this app folder. We have new public folder. Inside this we have module file. See here this is the. Uh, structure of a uh, module file this is the module name and we have at the rate ng module decorator then we have declarations and imports array uh, let's add one more module here let's say module name hot press enter See here, we got one more folder. Inside this, we have earth module. Now, let's create user module. Now, let's add a shared module. All the common pages that are used in this application, we will define all of them in this shared module. Uh, for example, header and footer, we can have common services and modules. We can define all of them um, in this shared module. Now, let's add child components um, in these modules. I want to add new component for the home page. Here, 
type this command ng g and then c for component and then name of the component home if i press enter here it will create new component at the root level now i want to create this component for this public module in one single modules we can have different type of features like component services and models etc i want to create new component folder inside this public folder then i want to have all the components inside this uh, that particular components folder now let's update the command here public then i want to create new folder that is components then name of the component wom then press enter see here inside this public folder and inside this we have components folder inside this we have wom folder inside this we have four new files here public module is the nearest module um, to this component so let's open this public module see here in the declaration om component is added now let's add one more component in the same folder that is all books then press enter see here here we got one more component now let's add one more component for book details see here inside this uh, components folder we have three new components now let's add new component um, in our auth module here n g g c and then auth inside this auth folder i want to have components folder then component name let's say login okay press enter see here inside this auth folder we have components folder inside this login folder we have four uh, new files this login component is added in the auth module file now let's add one more component in auth module let's say component name sign up see here inside this component folder we have uh, two new components this is how we can create uh, multiple modules and multiple components in our application it is not necessary to create all the components at first time we will create module and components whenever we required one more important thing let's say we have multiple modules at the same level uh, for example in auth folder we have auth module i want to create one more component for that your component name let's say change password then we can define the module explicitly here by using this option here we have to provide the name of the module that is auth the um, this new component will be added in this auth module then press enter if you have multiple modules at the same level then you can define your module by using this option see you we have this new component okay um, i hope this video is helpful to you uh, if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos Thanks for watching this video.